Hello everybody, my name is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com, host for Resurrect the Republic Truth Radio broadcast on RBN Network. I wanted to talk to you today about something extremely disturbing. If you haven't already heard about it, um, there is approximately an eight-year-old boy that a mother who terrorized him. And the reason that she terrorized him is the most disturbing of all. So what happened was, apparently this mother is a Hillary Clinton supporter. The boy had a situation at school where they do those mock votes. And in the mock votes, he voted for Donald Trump. This is what this mother did to this child. Since you voted for Donald Trump, you can get your shit and get out. Uh-uh. The suitcase is packed by the door. Yeah, been packed since this morning. Bye. Matter of fact, uh, and get your sign so some so when the people see you outside, they know why you're standing out there. Here you go. No. Here. Take your sign. Get up. Come on here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Take your sign. Bye. Let's go. You want to. Him? I'm going to show you. Come on. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Here's your suitcase. Bye. I'm with David. Uh uh. Get your suitcase. No. Elwood, get your suitcase and get out. Donald Trump here. Get your suitcase. Okay. Get out. No. Get out. Here you go. No. Bye. No. Bye. Bye, Donald Trump lover. I got school tomorrow. You got school tomorrow. You should have thought about that. Okay. Bye. This this where you gonna be at from now on. Yes. Why did you vote for him at school? Why did you vote for him at school? Why did you vote for him at school? Cause you see him on TV a lot. Boy, bye. Anyways, the, yep, you see him on TV. Well, I hope you find another TV to see him on, because this is going to be your new home. <laughs> you can't come back here. Bye. No, mama. No. He voted no. for Donald Trump. No. Bye. No. My no. Bye. Trump lover. Bye. Okay. So I have a lot to say about this. I want to thank the whoever is in charge of posted by Michelle uh, Obama for 2020 has gotten 15 million seven hundred forty four thousand and ninety one views and the individual that posted this posted it praying to God that somebody would do something about this and I want to thank you for that. As you can see right here, uh, she says, she or he says, please, somebody call CPS. This is really horrible. This kid just said that he wants to vote for Donald Trump, and then this happened. Um, I will leave a link so in the description box below. Now, we do have some updates on this situation, but I have a lot of things that I want to cover on this. The update on the situation is it has gotten so viral. Law enforcement has gotten involved. The child is safe. Thank you to End Times Reports. Um, did do an update. I will also leave that link in the description box below so that you can have the information on this child. This is not only sad and sickening, it is absolutely beyond insane. 
it is abuse. People wonder why these individual children, when they grow up and they're teenagers and they have such hate in their heart and hurt in their heart, it's because of individuals doing crap like this. Not only did that approximately, I'm guessing at the boy's age, approximately eight year old boy get terrorized because of this, the baby brother also was terrorized. You could hear him. He was crying out for his brother and it's all because this woman found out that he voted in a mock vote for Donald Trump. That is disgusting and I hope she is shamed everywhere she goes. I will give you both videos to the end times news they did a great job as well in covering this and they actually show a, a picture of the so-called mother this is not what you do to your children now here is another question that begs to be answered everybody is uh really ticked off about what this woman did to her child and they very well should be um, however I have this question she had his bags packed before he got home from school so I want to know because votes are supposed to be quote unquote confidential I want to know what teacher or what individual at that school called that mother to tell that mother the way that that child voted. I think that the school should also be investigated for that. I want to know what was said from the teacher to the parent. I think absolutely the teacher should share responsibility in this as well because if they're wanting children to have mock votes that part of voting is supposed to be confidential somebody from that school had to call this boy's mother because she admits on the video that she already knew that morning she had his bags packed and that stuff by the door so I am very thankful that law enforcement it has gained enough attention that law enforcement is involved CPS is also um, doing an investigation obviously when CPS is doing an investigation you're not going to be hearing too terribly much uh, in the public eye however I do want to thank um, I, I really want to thank whoever runs this Facebook site, Michelle Obama for 2020. I want to thank End Times News. I want to thank Clash Daily. This is unacceptable. I really hope and I'm not even joking that this lady's head is hung in shame because she thought she was being cute she thought it was funny to not only treat both of her children like this but she thought it was cute to post it on the internet and she's gaining the fame that she didn't want. And why do I say that? Because it doesn't matter whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, Conservative, Socialist. It doesn't matter. Wrong is wrong. And you know what? Notice this. This is posted by a Michelle Obama for 2020. So this is obviously somebody who supports the Democrats. And I want to thank them for putting this out there. And I hope that lady gets the exact attention she wanted.
because that child, both of them, didn't deserve that. I hope everybody recognizes her face. And when they see her, don't do anything physical, but let her know. You know, I saw your video. It shows just how much of a piece of crud you are and how much that quote unquote love trumps hate. This individual needs to be prayed for because obviously she has a lot of hate. She not only has no respect for her own children, she has no respect for herself. Because if she did, number one, she would have never done that. And number two, for sure, she would have never posted something like that. It's disgusting. I'll leave links in the description box below. Thank you for listening. As always, watch your backs, check your facts, Semper Fidelis, and good night.